Hey, howdy everybody, what's up? How's it going? Welcome back. Today I'm checking out another very highly requested album and an album that I've been really looking forward to. This is Darko Starfire. You already know what it is because you can see this, obviously, and you clicked on the video. Alright, let's go. Ooh. Classic Darko. So weird, I love it already. Here we go, here we go. Big hype for this one. Oh, I've been waiting for this one. This is so good. I love the really weird electronic stuff in the background. Oh, is this Stormstroke? Probably. This doesn't sound like Tom. Darker always picks banging features. Every feature on Oni is so cool. I think Oni's their best album, by the way, overall. Oh, this goes so hard. This is beautiful. Never mind. Very impressed so far. This is exactly what I wanted. It's exactly what I knew it would be. The main thing I love about Darko, two things actually. How bouncy the songs are. Every single song has some sort of bounce to it. It's incredible. <laughs> and uh, and the, the cadence of the lyrics is something that I harp on a lot with other bands when they don't have good lyrical cadences because it bothers me as a singer, but Darko always has great lyrical cadences. The way that they bounce along with the music, it like adds to the bounce. That's what I'm looking for. I love this kind of stuff. That's mainly why I love Darko. Those three reasons right there. Oh, oh, oh. Yo! There's Mark. Oh my Wow. <laughs> yes, dude, this is what I love. Man, they're just so fun. Dude, Mark's triplet section in that was insane. He was spitting bars. He's going crazy. Into like the the like whispery section with the claps with the <laughs> That was insane. I, I think that's my favorite track so far. And then when it sounds like this, this feels like softer Darko. This feels like this is like Darko's version of a ballad track. No, I know they've had ones like Come Home and Donna that are softer, but this still feels softer. This album has been very different so far in terms of just like the diversity of the music. I think this is the weakest of the three singles I heard, but it's still good. Although this has the amazing part right here. Mm. Even the weakest song of three singles I heard is still amazing. Oh, I forgot about this section. It's fun watching the audio levels on OBS and the desktop audio is just and it's not moving. It's like stuck in one spot. It's just not moving. <laughs> I think that's Garrett. I think that whole verse is Garrett. This is definitely Garrett. Sing it, Super Balloon Boy. Like that, what is he saying there? I need to know. Garrett's wrestles were really... G g 
Garrett's Russell's. <laughs> Garrett's vocals. Garrett Russell's vocals. I'm having a stroke or something here. I don't know what. Garrett's vocals are very good. I think that was him in that little scream section that I noticed because that sounded different. Uh, and then he definitely did all the cleans on this one. Super, super sick. Oh, they're doing my favorite chord progression. One to three. Let's go. Dude, 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 they're about to turn me into a crybaby with this song, jeez. Wow. Whoa. Dude, atmosphere. And we keep going with the chill. Let's go. Keep it like this. Yes, milk this. Wow. They knew what they were doing with this song. They cooked on this one. That's my favorite song so far. They cooked. So I thought this was a one to three at first. But as the song went on, I realized that this is a four to six. It's the same interval though. But I realized that because we did There's a section where it went into the one. It's a three to a four to a one to a five. Add a little sus for resolve it magical that's the best song so far <laughs> oh my goodness the, the the quality of darko has just stayed so high since they started classic darko lure you in with a nice little guitar line and then <laughs> Darko somehow has a very similar sound across all their songs, but each song sounds unique. How do they do it? Geniuses. Oh, 6 8. Little egg shaker in there, nice. What a weird breakdown call out. Call out any get your gun, bro. All of their songs are so good. And they all feel so unique, despite being essentially very similar. This song threw me for a loop when I first heard it. Yeah, going into this part, I was like, what in the world? <laughs> I did a video on this, go watch that. I did three videos on all three of the singles that I talked about. So, go watch those. I love this half of the song, though. Now, I'm guessing Sora is a Kingdom Hearts reference, uh, just based on the amount of video game references that they've had in past songs. This is Marcus Bridge from North Lane on this track. I adore this. This is so good. This could end up being my favorite Darko album. They just get better and better. Every release, they're one-upping themselves. It's insane. I have zero cons for this album.
Very unexpected. <laughs> that one was beautiful. I loved it. I was already loving it. And then they had that weird warby key change. And then they brought in like the, the 80s drum track type sounds. That's going to be one of my favorite songs after a few more listens, I think. This album just does not stop going so hard. We are officially over halfway through. I wonder if they can keep this up to the end or if an hour and 11 minutes is going to feel a little long for an album like this. Let's find out. Ooh, these triple vocals are so sick. Oh. How do they feel so different but so similar at the same time? What's going on here, bro? What are y'all doing with this one? I love this section. What in the world is happening? Yeah, let's keep going. 2011 song type beat? What's happening? All the songs feel so unique. This is crazy. What in the world are we doing here, bros? Guys, what's going on? What are what are y'all cooking with the last half of the song? What a weird song. This is one of my my more favorite favorite or favorite ones on this album. <laughs> There's Michael Barr. Is that David? Teardrop Sunshine sounds like a, a slower song. We'll see if I'm right. This is beautiful too. Beautiful atmosphere overall in this track. <laughs> I like Tom's little perks. There's Scar Lord. Oh my goodness. They made you wait for that. It's like getting punched in the face in music form. I did not expect beautiful strings to come out of nowhere. I was expecting Scarlord Breakdown. Now, I would have liked a little more Scarlord in that track. I think he was only on like the first, up to the first minute. It's a four minute song, so he's like in just a quarter of it. I would have liked a little bit more from his feature. It was still really cool though, but that ending was really weird. I love Shanghai. I think this is my favorite of all of the, the singles. And then the outro to this is just insanity. This goes so hard. Y'all. This section is so weird. It's like an alien noise solo. This section feels so huge. Like the sound just feels big, if that makes sense. Like arena wide sound. It's because of that weird clean part with the reverb and everything. I love this outro so much, dude. It's so beautiful and it, can, it comes out of nowhere. Do you love me? Do you love me? Mm. This may be my favorite Darko album, I think. <laughs> wow. I'm just... I'm continually impressed the more I hear. 
The record's over. Time for more. Time for more. Yay! Let's go more! Bro, are you gonna hit us with this many emotional tracks on the album? This is insane. Does this piano part not feel Minecraft adjacent? Do you hear it? You know the Minecraft song? That one. I think it's Mice on Mars. Mm. Oh, there's lyrics for this. Wow. This is better than Crybaby. Dude. <laughs> Crying in the Darko album. Not since Donna. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. <sighs> the fact that they can write stuff like Shanghai and Virtual Function and Green Machine, but then also write things like Teardrop Sunshine and Crybaby and Finding Love in a Wonderful Tragedy and like Donna and Come Home, Infinite Beauty. Like, <laughs> they are such versatile songwriters. They're, they're by far one of the best groups out right now. That might be like top five songs of the year for me. I've never felt such a range of emotions listening to a Darko album before. Is this more? I'm just gonna let it take me. I love you. Oh. French. Guys, guys, guys. Oh my god, bro, what? Oh. This is a serious album of the year contender. This is so good. This is the best Darko album, for sure. Better than Oni, which is my favorite. I, I mean, I questioned it at the beginning. I was like, is it going to justify its hour and 11 minute runtime? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> yes, it did. Albums like these are special, where you can tell that so much love and care was put into just not only the individual song structure, and the writing of the songs, but the flow of the album as a whole, I was locked in the entire time. I've been recording for an hour and a half. It does not feel like that. I'm just so impressed by this. One thing that I wanted to mention, because I it really stuck out to me, Shanghai to the end, the weird outro of Shanghai is kind of like a flip. And then the next, like the records over time for more finding love and the mother, like all of that, it keeps it calm and it stays in that weird ethereal otherworldly like space of strange happiness like if melancholy happiness it's got that kind of feel to it and then the mother of course they had to remind us hey this is a darko album don't you forget it last 10 seconds just blammo there you go here enjoy a breakdown <laughs> at the end of this atmospheric beautiful track this is something special and i'm gonna write this masterpiece Look, I have my little graphic up there. As long as I don't forget to edit it in. Masterpiece. There it is. I could not be more impressed with this album. It exceeded my expectations. It was everything I wanted to be and more. Insane. Hope you enjoyed the album as much as me. If you didn't, let me know why. If you did, let me know that you did. Like the video, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I appreciate your support. 
and I'll catch y'all in my next video. Bye-bye, peace out, have a good day, love y'all, see you later.